This tutorial will walk you through the budget form for the New Hampshire State Council on the Arts Artist Entrepreneurial Grant Program. Right up at the top is some basic information about the program. Um, the range um, that you can ask for in this program is from $250 to $1,000 and you have to match dollar for dollar whatever you ask us for. Um, that's a very, very important part of this. Your budget absolutely must be balanced. Your project income and your expenses must match. Um, and please, when you're filling out this form, don't use dollar signs, commas, or periods. There are formulas in the form, and uh, using those symbols will um, negatively affect those formulas. So, coming right into the application, you're going to type in your name. This is the same name that you used um, on the submittable application. And then we're going to, you're going to list your income. And so we start with the grant request, how much you're asking us for. And so you will type that in. Let's say you're asking for $800. You'll type it in and use the tab key and you can see now that the dollar amount is formatted properly. If you have any corporate sponsorships um, or private foundation grants to help with this project, you want to identify where that money is coming from and how much. Any other support that you're receiving, um, like a scholarship um, from your opportunity, um, you could you would add you would identify it and then add it here. Any other government support that you would that you're receiving, you would identify what where it's coming from and how much, um, and then any cash that you are putting on the table to help match what you're asking for from us. Remember, you have to match dollar for dollar. So if you are asking us for $800, you have to kick in another 800 and there's your total project income. You have to match what you're asking us for. On the expense side, um, the, the columns look a little bit different because we want you to tell us how you're going to use the grant money that you receive. And so you're going to tell us um, on each of these items the amount of money that from the grant that, uh, that it will cover if you're going to use the grant money for these things. And, um, and the amount that other income will cover. That's very important. And these things will add across and they will add down. So um, once again, your project expenses must total the income. And so um, it could be very helpful as you are thinking about your project um, to work on your expenses first and um, and see what that total comes to. Um, and that will ha might help you decide how much you're going to ask for from us. Um, and so these things are pretty standard, supplies and materials, any registration or entry fees, any services, any contracted services. So for instance, if you are going to hire somebody to make you a website, that's a contracted service and you would put that you would you would um, list those things. Um, any equipment, printing, space rental, any travel, any marketing or publicity that you would be doing for yourself, and any remaining project expenses. And here you would type in what those expenses are. Um, if you need to add rows to the form, you should be able to do that and not have too much difficulty, but you want to double check and make sure that the formulas haven't been disrupted. If you're concerned about adding extra rows, please contact the grant coordinator. That person will be able to help you with the budget form. So once again, it's very important that your total project expenses and your total project income match. And um, how you make that match is your particular challenge. And, um, and, but there are a lot of different ways that that can happen. 
Um, and, you know, again, reach out to us too if you have questions about that as well. Um, finally, there is a fillable PDF version of this form, but it doesn't include the formulas. So you would have to do the math yourself. We do prefer that you use the Excel form. If you want to save the Excel form as a PDF once you've filled it out, which we really like you to do, please use the print dialog, um, the, the PDF dialog in your print dialog. Um, sometimes just saving as a PDF um, will result in a blank form. So please use the printer dialog to save your document as a PDF if you're going to do that. Again, if you have questions, please reach out and ask them. Thanks so much.